Wow. Okay. I don't have a knife. It's already open. You want to do it one more time? <laughs> okay. A mysterious box appears. Oh, the eBay packing list. I'll, I'll ignore that. An iPod mini. Whoa, wait, wait, is this like an original iPod mini? Sure is. Oh, yo! All right, I was it afraid really this is gonna be terrible, man. Don't look at the packing list, because then you'll see what I paid for. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm Quinn, and this is Austin. Yes, hello. And we're here with an iPod mini. Yeah, dude. So you're saying that you never owned one of these? Never. This is legit, so someone actually literally kept this in the box that long? Yeah. Wait, hold on a second. It's four gig PC and Mac, but iTunes is included. Yeah, there's a CD in there. So, <laughs> oh, we gotta try that. Yeah, there is. Do we actually have to open this up? Yeah, this we is, do. This is really nice, man. No, that's the whole point. Come on, man, let's tear into it. All right, do you need a knife or are you just gonna? Yeah, no, okay. we should probably knife it. Yeah, <laughs> just rip it in half. <laughs> uh, let's see, there you go. This guy knows how to open a knife right here. That's a good knife right there. Well, maybe, maybe <laughs> not. Maybe I don't know how to use a knife. There we go. Okay, the, the plastic has hardened over the years. <sighs> smells new. Does it really? Yeah, it smells like Steve Jobs' apple. Oh. oh. Look how big this box is, though. That's this pretty is big. bigger than like the uh, the modern iPhone boxes. I don't know how to get into it. That's how. Dude, ah, see, careful. it's top loading. You have to open it this way. It's the only way it comes out. Designed by Apple in California, the good old classic, and it's been dislodged. It's been dislodged a little bit. Hang on, I, I can fix this. Hey. Perfect! Wow, it's this, small. Don't look. Don't steal music. The very Does first thing you see. Don't <laughs> steal music. Wow. So funny. Lime green and everything. So this is a first gen iPod Mini. This is so much bigger than my Nano. <laughs> They're so huge. Much bigger. We'll use a hard drive, not solid state, right? Oh, this. Yeah. Wait, this is a hard. Yeah. It's a compact flash sized hard drive and it actually has the same pinout. So you can pull the old hard drives out and then stick in a big old school compact flash drive. Oh. And then you have a super awesome fast solid state iPod. Oh. See, these are the tricks we learned back in the mid 2000s. Damn, trying to man. speed up our. You got better battery too because you're not spinning anything? Yeah. So let's take a look at the accessories. Yeah, so I see. Things that you don't get with mod I got to say, modern Apple products. Way more in here than usual. Yeah. What is this? Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. I think, yep, the OG earpods. Or what do they call them back then? Just the, the headphones, right? Yeah, just earphones, maybe? I don't know. These can go in the garbage where they belong. Yeah, they are very bad. I listened to a lot. But uh, people wore these like crazy. We had an iPod video that we did not too long ago. It was a couple years ago, right before they actually killed off all the normal iPods. Mm. And I think it was like the shuffle or something still shipped with these. And I put them in, I was like, yeah, <sighs> they do. Because like you, you like, had to have the inline controls. Oh, dude, it's so bad. Wait. Those have the, yeah, those have the socks. Yeah, they do. They have the socks and we should open these because these are legendary. They redesigned them. Not important. <laughs> they redesigned them to be more flush, kind of like what the AirPods look like now. But these were the classic, like, stapled on. They were very rounded. This is a uh, Joni Ive original, man. Joni? Yeah. Joni Ive? Johnny, Joni, I don't know. He's, where's he from? He's from the UK. How do they, sp oh, they smell. These smell very old. <laughs> they do. This smell is less, those. Less... It's a weird plastic smell. Oh, dude, that's like cancer, man. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you getting me smell that yeah, for? Yeah, they might have aged inside the package. Is it the wire? <laughs> yeah, it's the <a> wire. <laughs> so, whatever that chemical mean... that is, I don't think it's legal anymore. Yeah. Well, we also have a little belt clip because I guess that's useful. Yeah, well, that's where all the cool kids put their eyes <laughs> So everyone knew you had one. If it was in your pocket, how would they know it was an iPod, This is right? so 2004 right now. <laughs> Oh man, okay, we've got a lot more accessories though. You're right, there's actually way more yeah, in here than usual. there's a ton. All right, so we've got a fresh, crispy USB 2.0 to 30 pin. Oh, right, I even forgot that's got the little... Uh, yeah, manual release. The release. Oh, dude, this is taking me back. I've not looked at one of these in a long time. But that's the special cable. Look at that one. You're gonna die. Firewire to 30 <laughs> pin? What? Yeah, what? man. So what? that if you had a Mac, because FireWire 400 was much faster than USB 2. Yeah. If you had a FireWire capable Mac, you could Whoa. both charge and sync using that port. Do we have? We've had, we do we have something with FireWire around here? Yeah, we do. Hang on for a second. Oh, he comes prepared. I like it. You ever seen one of these? 
Oh, <laughs> yes, dude. This is a 2009 MacBook, white MacBook. You did a video on this, right? Yeah. Oh. It's running, actually, macOS Mojave right now. Oh, because you Hackintoshed it. Yeah. Yes. So I don't know if the latest version of iTunes and macOS Mojave supports an iPod over Firewire. <laughs> we'll find out. I, mean, I, I don't know. There's only one way of finding out. Also, can I just say that this is a giant power adapter. <laughs> it's bigger than what you find on like most iPads today, and this is for an iPod. Although, wait. wait it's fast that... charging. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I don't know. This uses FireWire? Yeah. Apple was still pushing that like crazy. Why would you use USB 2 when it was inferior to FireWire? Uh, on your what, crappy what, Windows computer. What wattage is this? It's like six or seven watts. Yeah, I mean, this is it's more so than much what the, More than what the iPhone XS Max ships with. That's a fair point. <laughs> Install software before connecting iPod. Very important. Um, do you actually want to see if we can get that? Yeah. There's no way it works, right? I mean, what does it need? Like, oh, it's going to work. Come on. It doesn't say anything about like what it supports. I assume this has got to be like iTunes 5? I have, what year was that? I have no idea. So we've got a uh, plastic uh, little cover on the click wheel. This was also the first iPod to ship with a click wheel. Because all the iPods before, the first and second generation iPods, had the uh, function keys around the perimeter oh. of the wheel. And then the third gen had all of the keys touch sensitive above the capacitive touch wheel. That was the iPod that was all this capacitive. Was, this was it. This, this was, was it. the first click wheel. And up until the day that the iPod died, this was the only input method that they stuck with. So Crazy. it stood the test of time. Hey man, it that, still that works click wheel, really that great. That click wheel was legit. It still works great. This video is sponsored by nationalfloortrends.com. Can we look that up? Is that <laughs> actually still a thing? I don't know. It, it probably. Rest in peace, uh, NTL floor trends. Is oh. it gone? And some trends just aren't meant to be. That's true, especially floor trends. How boring. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is a good or bad thing. I remember this iTunes layout like it was yesterday. Also, it still looks like this today. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back the old <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> make, iTunes make. was, so, and here's the thing. We all joke about how crappy iTunes is today, and it's undeniable that it is a bad piece of software. Bad, terrible. And it's fragmented, and everything sucks. But back in the day, it was truly one of the few applications that was cross-platform compatible, yeah. that had a store built in, that had excellent music management and playback, mm -hmm. and could sync to your MP3 players directly from the app. It was great in 2004, but 15 years later, <laughs> Yeah. It sucks now, but it was revolutionary. And I think, in fact, one of the reasons iPod became successful was not so much because of iPod itself, but because of how seamlessly it integrated with basically every computer on the planet. Yeah. So let's plug this in here. The iPod is dead, but it can charge over FireWire, so we should be good. Let's plug this puppy in. Oh, man, I'm excited. Oh, that's a satisfying... Oh, oh there we go. There... She lives! He lives. Is iTunes guys just going to light up right now? I am very curious to see. I think iTunes doesn't lose support for old iPods. Like that's one of the advantages of such an old program. I think so. It's all My only question is if it still works over FireWire. It is saying do not disconnect. The question is does it pop up as a device? I don't know how to use iTunes anymore. Do <gasps> Welcome to your new iPod. Yes. It is new. Yes. I mean it's not new, but it is new. And it works over FireWire. Dude. That's so cool. Oh man. Okay, continue. Get started. We have to figure out how to sync it. Okay. 3.79 gigabytes of capacity. Don't look at my serial number. That's private. <laughs> there we've got. The private of the. Wait, there's the, a software update available. Wait, should, should we? I don't know. I think we should, right? We have to have the most it's updated It's going to take forever, account. is the problem. Oh, okay. But no, but we have FireWire. It'll be fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how fast this Mac can download it. It's the question. There was a problem downloading the software for the iPod. Uh, there we go. Well. There we go. Agree. We've got the EULA. Yes, I've read that and agree to all of the terms. Do you want to uh, hardline in? We have an Ethernet sure. literally right here. Hey, um, a laptop with Ethernet. Oh. How remarkable is that? Revolutionary. Ports. Wow. Already downloaded the firmware. Oh. You still it's already Ethernet? updating. Um, I did. Come on, man. I didn't even get the Ethernet <laughs> cable yet. Your iPod has been updated and is restarting. That's fast. <laughs> Why are things from 2004 better than they are today? Well, the firmware is probably like... Half a megabyte, that's oh. probably part of it. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm going to plug in because I Okay. I want to think that I grabbed an Ethernet cable for some reason in life. It's going to like make everything catch on fire. Thanks, Austin. Oh, look at this. Do you remember this? You could, on the desktop, your iPod would mount as a mass storage device. Oh, yeah. So not only could you drag contacts and calendars and notes and stuff over, but you could also store files as a portable, a portable hard drive. Dude. 
Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. So we are ready to go. Oh, still oh. got that audible click through the speaker. Uh, all right. Should we listen to music? I right, let's do it. What do we? You have to go first, though. Oh, I remember. I'm not putting those things in my ear. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get some real. You can headphones. use your Beats by Dre. Oh. I'm gonna get some wow. beats. I mean, it sounds okay. I don't. It sounds like the music player that changed the world. <laughs> well, okay, the iPod was decent for music, though. Yeah, right? it, like, was. it obviously wasn't super great, but for the time, it actually was. Pretty no, it decent. actually had a very respectable DAC, and that was that was one of the issues with kind of cheaper music players. Is you had this weird chasm between the cheap flash bass players. It's like I had a Rio growing yeah. up. And the player was like $150. It wasn't even that cheap. But then you had to buy memory cards. And they were all solid state. And so they were very small capacity and extraordinarily expensive. And then on the other end, you had really high-end iPods that were 30, 40 gigabytes, which could hold thousands of songs. But most people couldn't afford or couldn't justify spending that much money. And so the iPod mini was kind of the perfect hybrid, wherein it had the price of cheaper fa uh, flash-based players, but also had the storage of larger hard drive-based players. And it wasn't until the iPod Mini or the iPod Nano came out, which the iPod Nano was truly the iPod yeah. that took over the world. Yeah. But the iPod Mini was a huge precursor that, you know, from when this was released, a year later, sales on iPods had quadrupled. So it was single handedly responsible for 400%ing Apple's iPod lineup. That's crazy, man. Pretty wild. Well, uh, folks, that's all for me. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a like. If you didn't, that other button works okay, too. No, it doesn't. Thanks so much it's for watching. And as always, Austin. Thanks for watching. No, that's not. That's, stay snazzy. You're fired.